Shout out to Kaka, everybody. What's happening? What's happening? Shout out to Lee Long here. Shout out to Kaka. All right, today, I want you to um, see something that, it you know, they're not, how, how can I say it? They're, they're not available like they should be anymore. <laughs> and you can't find them anymore. I think that's what I meant. They're not available as much as they should be anymore. Which means that you can't find them. All right, so here we go. So today, I want you guys to take a look at one thing. This is my 1988 Music Man SR5. This is a 1988 model. They're hard to find. Very hard to find in this condition. Look at her. She done been through the Hobo Depot. Look at her. She got the one paint though. Let's still love her. All right, she got maple neck. Here's the catch. Y'all ready for this? Bird's eye maple. Look at that. Oh my God. Now, this is one of the old girls. With the old girls, they have the three-way switch. This one has volume, and then has um, treble, mids, and bass. But look at the knobs on this girl. Can y'all see the knobs? Are, are they visible? Look at them. And I guess you asked, did it come like that? No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't come like I mean, it didn't come like that from the factory. Somebody put these knobs on. And when I got it, I was like, I'm just going to leave them on. <laughs> I'm going to leave them like that. All right, so basically, we're going to go through it today. We're going to do a couple of videos of this girl today so y'all can get a, a, a glimpse of what she looks like, what she sounds like, and the difference between... The old music man's and the new music man's. This is maple on maple, bird's eye maple. It looked roasted, but it's not. It's just straight bird's eye. And the um the fretboard is clear coated. Alright, so basically, I don't know how many people ever do a music man without anything on. Like if you turn everything off, what a music man would sound like. So today I'm gonna do it. So let's turn the amp on. The amp I'm coming through is the LA12. SWR LA12. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so let's turn the music man on with nothing on. All right, so basically the bass sounds amazing with nothing on. We already know it plays amazing. This one's laying right on the neck. And this is, a, this is like, this is like a one piece neck. It ain't got like a board onto it. Some of the new ones has um they have a little a little intonation of a stripe in the back, right behind the neck, right across there. It means that it's a two piece. And then you have a fret board that's glued onto this board. This ain't like this. This is one piece. This is vintage, baby. That's why it took me so long to find her. Because she was sitting waiting for me. <laughs> and I wanted her so bad. Alright, so basically. If you turn a turn a music man on with nothing on, you will have to turn your amp up because there's no preamp. You know that you don't have your preamp on yet. So anyway, I, I like it the way it sounds without a preamp. Even with the switch. Now the switch I got. Let's take it. Let's take it to the front. Of the the switch goes three ways. You already know that, right? Front, middle, and back. I don't have to tell you what they all are because you music man lovers already know. So here we go. So let's go to the front. Now with me, I'm learning something new every day. The main thing I'm learning is basically, um, you don't have to actually, I, I don't do it anymore. I turn my, my, my bass and treble and mids to like nine o'clock. And everybody's like, why don't you just go uh, detent? I don't want to go detent. I want to hear what the bass sounds like. So I turn my, my amp on to 9 o'clock, sometimes 8.30. <laughs> it depends on what time it is. But, I, but anyway, I turn it to like 8.30 or 9 o'clock, which is good for me because it gives me a chance to hear what my bass sounds like and get me a chance to go inside my bass and let me know what it can do. So that's what I got to set on now, y'all. Now, I got the volume up to about... I would say 10 o'clock. 
All right, it depends on you. I'm coming through a little small amp. On my, <coughs> on my bigger amp, excuse me, I will go, you know, a little higher. So here we go. Middle select. To the rear, everybody's favorite. I know it's mine. That, that rear, man, just gives me more balls. I don't know why, but. All right, so now we're gonna start turning up the, their bass. Cause I know what the bass sounds like. So I want everybody standing in front of me and hearing it to know or to hear what I'm hearing. All right, so now I'm gonna turn up the trouble to D10. This is D10 on trouble. All right, I'm gonna put it back to the front again. A lot of people are like, why everybody always play Music Man and they don't play anything else? Well, basically, with this three setting, I can get a lot of things happening. I can get my jazz tones, I can get my Music Man tones, I still got my feel on the Music Man, I, I'm not changing basses, that kind of thing. And that's what you want. And the Music Man 5 will give you that. Now, let's go to the middle. Now, the mids are kind of like there, but I almost hit a little bit. Okay, and we go to the rear, same thing. That's when that sizzle come in, that booty. All three is like mixed right together. Okay, so now we're gonna turn the mids to D10. There you go. Now y'all know I'm not much of a mid guy, but on the Music Man, it just sounds so right. Okay, everybody say it again. On the Music Man, everything sounds so right. Everything sounds so right. Everything sounds... <laughs> I don't know, I keep saying on the Music Man, everything sounds so right. Everything sounds so right. So that's what I'm saying. On the Music Man, everything sounds so right. Okay, plus this is old. I love you, girl. Now, let's go bass D10. That's the real setting. Let's go to the front setting. Middle setting. Okay. First setting. Okay. Now, let's go trouble all the way. I'm in the first setting. Second setting. All right, so let's go mids all the way. So you got treble all the way and mids all the way. <laughs> Whoa, you better knuckle, you better knuckle. All right, and now you got bass, treble, and mids all the way. So you got the whole thing happening. Do everybody play like that? I don't particularly play like that, but everybody needs to know what it sounds like. Okay, so basically you got everything wide open in the middle. Let's go to the rear. The rear is where a lot of people go to. They're like, that's the sound right there. That's the sound right there. I don't know, is that the sound? For me it is. <laughs> what I do is I use a crank back on the mids a little bit and go for it. Go for it. Back to the 
like that. Take this. That's the thickness. And then there you have it. I mean, this is the 88, 1988 Music Man Stingray SR5, or you want to call it, SR5. I just love this space, man. It took me years to get this. Years. But I am so overwhelming glad. Is that a word? Overwhelming glad. Did I say that right? I am so overwhelming glad <laughs> that I got this bass. I am. This is a wonderful bass. And for all you music man lovers, shout a ka ka. Shout a ka ka. And peace out. <laughs>